So, Captain Marvel is the latest film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, um, yeah, it's it's okay. It's, uh, it's not great, but it's not awful either. It's, it's definitely lower tier Marvel for me. Like, it's not, it's not a Captain America Civil War, it's not a Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's a Thor 2. It's an, it's an Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's, you know, it's, it's still good. Um, it's just, I, 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 I didn't love it like I wanted to. Um, but, uh, anyways, I guess I'll start off with Brie Larson. Um, I thought she was, she was, she was decent in the movie. Um, you know, watching the trailers, uh, a lot of people's, I guess, worries or, like, their complaints were that uh, Brie Larson was seemed a bit too stoic and serious, and that's, it's literally the opposite in the movie. She's, like, snarky and, and, like, always trying to be funny, and, uh, a lot of the humor does fall flat, but if you were worried about her being too serious, that's, do, don't, she, it's literally the opposite in the movie. And, um, yeah, she's fine, um, Samuel L. Jackson is great, um, it's actually pretty impressive. Like, I, I I think this is the first MCU movie where they've done the whole de-aging thing, and, it's, and it lasted throughout the entire movie. Like, and it's, it's just funny because, like, I never even really thought about it while I was watching it. Like, I just accepted it, like, that this is how it is. This is what's happening now. And, uh, yeah, like, that Samuel L. Jackson was great. Uh, Jude Law was great. Uh, the cat, I know you've probably been hearing a lot about the cat, the cat was good, um, yeah, it's just, it's just, I mean, uh, I don't know, like, there wasn't necessarily anything wrong with the movie, uh, I mean, there, there's a a few pacing issues, I think the first act is, it's a little weak, but it's definitely a movie that gets better as it goes along. And it's just like, I don't know. There isn't a whole ton that I necessarily didn't like. It's just that there's not really anything that I absolutely loved. I didn't absolutely love the humor. I didn't absolutely love the the action. I don't think anybody's performance was necessarily amazing. I, like, the... Some of the CGI was, most of it was good, some of it was kind of eh, so, you know, um, yeah, there's just, there's just nothing amazing about this movie. It's all just pretty good, um, yeah, and I mean, so, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to talk about it, but also, uh, without spoilers, without spoiling it, because this is definitely a movie, I, I, although I, I will say, um, the movie takes a turn that I did not expect. Like, there was a point in this movie where I was like, oh, did not see that coming. Like, I genuinely did not see that coming. Um, it's like, so this is what this is, right? Um, and yeah, those there, there, there are things that they do here where, where I, I didn't see it coming, and I, it was a genuine surprise, and I definitely appreciated that. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, actually, when, when we're talking about things I didn't like, some of the things I didn't like is that you kind of find out where, like, how certain things that you know, like, how they came to be. And there's one in particular that I think is really stupid. Although there is one that I suspect a lot of people aren't going to like, but I actually do. I actually enjoyed that. Obviously, it means nothing if you haven't seen the movie, but, um, some, yeah, like, they, they, they try to give you, like, origins of certain things that you've seen before, and some of them work, some of them really don't work, um, yeah, so, yeah, just know that a lot, there's gonna be a, a lot of fan service in this movie, um, and yeah, there's a lot of, like, feminist SJW, whatever, you know, like, I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't blah 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 blah. Like there, there's a lot of that. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of that in the movie. I it didn't it doesn't personally bother me all that much. Like it's not, it's not like in your face all the time. It's 
you know, they're just, they're really just, like, certain, like, some scenes where, where, where stuff like that happens, but it's really not that big of a deal. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. At the end of the day, I just, uh, it's just, a, it's just kind of a movie to me. Um, I don't really passionately love it, but I don't passionately hate it either. It's just, it's an Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's, it's a Thor 2. Like, it's kind of just a movie. Which, I don't know, maybe, like, I was expecting for it to really surprise me, um, you know, right before Endgame. Uh, but, and it, it, it's, it's just kind of a movie. So, yeah, th that's, I guess, my thoughts. Um... Yeah, this is the end of the spoiler, the spoiler-free review. Uh, from this point forward, I'm going to talk about some spoilers. Um, so if you haven't seen the movie, just get get the fuck out. Uh, okay, are you gone? All right. So the first thing I want to talk about in the spoiler section are the whole squirrel thing. Like, I thought they worked really well in the movie. Um, I genuinely did not see. Uh, them being the good guys coming uh, Like that was a genuine surprise and I was, At that point in the movie I kind of like I was kind of like just passively watching it and at that point in the movie That actually like made me perk up and be a lot more interested in what was coming uh, Like I, I kind of already knew that Jude Law was gonna be the villain just because like those reports had been circulating already but um like, I, I expected him to end up being a scroll, and they, they kind of, you know, they, they took me by surprise there, which I thought was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so, in this movie, they do show how Fury loses his eye, and I, I think, and it's because of the, the goose, he scratches his eye out, right? And, I... I, I haven't really seen any reviews yet. I anticipate a lot of people aren't gonna like it, gonna, gonna like that, but I actually kind of appreciate that because, you know, I like, I, I kind of like them subverting your expectations, right? You kind of expect, uh, you kind of expect people, you kind of expect it to be, ha had, have had happened in this big dramatic fashion, right? In this amazing heroic act that he committed, he loses his eye. And I kind of like that they subverted your expectations a little bit. That is, it's, it was just a cat, or the flurgan, right? Uh, just, a, just a little cat scratching his eye out. And I, 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 I appreciate that. I, th I, thought, that was, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, what was definitely stupid was how, like, I guess they don't, like, <laughs> he calls the Avengers the Avengers because Captain Marvel, her name was, what was it, Carol Avenger, Avenger, uh, Danvers, whatever her last name is, that was so stupid. Like, that was actually stupid. I, I kind of hated that. Um, so yeah, uh, and, uh, the, they also show that this is a movie, this is how Nick Fury got a hold of the Tesseract. Yeah, that, I, I thought that worked. Like, that, that was totally fine to me. And, uh, yeah, um, like, as so far in, like, there, there's a lot of fan service in the movie, and some of it works for me, some of it doesn't work, but uh, most of it worked. Really, the only thing that didn't work, that I didn't love, was uh, the whole him him getting the name Avengers from her her, her nickname. That that was just, that was just kind of stupid. And yeah, and kind of a thing that I also appreciated about the whole squirrel thing was that the scope of the movie wasn't actually that big. Like, it wasn't necessarily about an invade, the squirrels invading the entire planet. It was more about this one specific group of squirrels trying to save, um, like, I guess you'd refer them as, like, fugitives? I don't, I don't know. A few, these other, these other fugitives. And it was really just about them trying to save their, their family and their friends. And that was actually, I, that, I, I appreciated all that. Um... It, it, it just kind of makes it a bit more personal and, you know, it makes it easier to, I guess, empathize with them. Uh, so, yeah, I, I thought that was, I thought that, that was a good thing that they did. Um, although I did think it was kind of stupid when, um, when, oh yeah, I didn't even talk about her, her friend, which, like, that's where a lot of, like, the, 
the whole feminist thing. I'm I'm a woman. I'm an independent woman. That's where that that's where a lot of that came from. Uh, Carol's friend, who in general I thought she was fine, but like there, there's the scene when the scroll is trying to convince uh Carol that the scrolls are the good guys, and then she goes. Uh, her friend goes on like this this on this speech. She says this speech about how you're Carol Danvers, you're not the Cree, you're you were my friend, you were you were the most amazing woman I've ever met, and it's like, what does that have to do with the scrolls? And then because of that, then Carol she like, because her friend says says all that stuff, Carol then decides to join the Cree. I mean the scrolls. It's like what? Why? Like the her her switch from being with the Cree and then joining with the Scrolls, that whole switch that was kind of that was just so sloppily handled to me. But then yeah, it's whatever. And yeah, that again, that's where I, that's really where I come down on this movie. Like, sure, there are a lot of like leaps in logic that you kind of have to get get around, but at the end of the day, it's just kind of a movie to me. Like, it's not so terrible that it really pisses me off, right? Like, it's not like a Batman v Superman or a Suicide Squad. Again, it's just kind of a movie. It's like, it's all right. Uh, I don't know. Like, e- even in the spoiler discussion, I don't really have all that much stuff that I really care to talk about. It's just all kind of... Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Um... Like, it doesn't get me all that more hyped for Endgame, to be honest. Um, like, yeah, the, the end credit scene with... Uh, the end credit scene with Captain Marvel, like, appearing in the Avengers headquarters. It's like, okay, cool, yeah. I, I, I really want to see that. But her inclusion in Endgame doesn't get me necessarily more excited than I already was, if that makes any sense. So, uh, yeah, that's all my thoughts on Captain Marvel. It's it's okay. Um, I give it uh, four uh, Nick Fury eyeballs out of a, a million.